Okay, so this is a random update about a lot of stuff. And I know I already did a spring update. So this is going to be my just... Um, I guess I wanted to talk about tabletop RPGs. So, okay. My first experience with the tabletop RPG was back in... God, I want to say it was 2010, maybe 2011. I, I don't think it was any earlier than that. But um, I sat in and watched them. I can't even remember which TTRPG it was. But um, I watched a game and I created a character, but I was never, never able to keep up with the game because um, I just lived too far away. And they were in a sub. They were in another city, about forty-five minutes away. So I was just never able to like keep up with the cost of of commuting just for one night. And like I didn't even work in that town. I mean, I did go to school in that town, but it was just it was too much like to be staying there until like. 11 or 12 once a week or what was it once a month I can't even remember how often it was but anyways that was my uh, my friend Amanda had invited me to that TTRPG and like I had always wanted to play a TTRPG but I was like who am I gonna ever meet in town that's gonna want to so with the pandemic um I actually was like got inspired to reach out and try a TTRPG because I, I find that I'm having a lot of trouble with, um, with some regular video games because I don't know if it's my reaction times are too slow or I know my reaction times could suffer because of that. I mean, I, I, I know it could be a, a thing because, um, I actually like, I type really slowly I think the highest I've ever typed was 45 minutes per 45 words per minute. And like some places they want you typing 60 words per minute. And I'm like, uh, I guess I'm not going to get hired there. Um, uh, so it could just be the, that I'm just not playing fast enough. But, um, like I, I figured that what am I good at storytelling and what does a lot of these, um, uh, TTRPGs rely on storytelling, you know? So anyways, I'm doing Pathfinder with my friend D and I will link his, um, his, um, actually, I'm, I need to scrap that. Okay. I'm playing Pathfinder with my friend Werewolf Teacher on TikTok and I will link his TikTok down below. And I started, um, Werewolf Apocalypse from the World of Darkness um, system with another group of friends. And it's interesting because I had originally wanted to do Star Trek Adventures, but I was getting lukewarm responses. And then one of my friends was telling me that they had actually had experience with World of Darkness and World of Apocalypse. And um, so, like... I know that my friend Amanda had experience with Werewolf Apocalypse. She really loved it. Um, and she said that it was better than um, Werewolf Forsaken. So I we just I just bought the bundle on a um, on an impulse from Drive Through RPG. And so yeah, now we're gonna do it, and we're gonna have our first meeting. Um, I guess this Saturday we're going to have our first meeting and we're, I'm not sure if I should invest in tabletop simulator or if I should just get, um, or if I should just do rule 20. I just found out I'm not going to be able to work summer school because I'm a paraeducator. And so... Like, it's frustrating because that was a check that I was really counting on. And now I'm not going to get that check. Uh, so, like, I'm... So, like, I would ideally like to do Rule 20 instead because 
But then, okay, it's complicated because, like, I have to do a whole separate video on this because it's so complicated. But I also don't want to say too much because, like, what if one of my employers finds this video and then I get in trouble for talking too much about too much smack about my employers? So I don't I don't want to. Yeah. So I don't want to say anything too detailed because, yeah. But anyways, okay. So, yes. So Pathfinder, our first session is going to be May 8th. And then for um, Werewolf Apocalypse, our and cre character creation session is going to be this Saturday, uh, the 20... Oh no! Wait, the thirtieth of April. So it, I, I've got something going on for the summer at least. Now that I'm not doing some summer school, now that I'm not working summer school, I've got something to look forward to. I've got these games, and then I was thinking if I could get enough interest, maybe some people might want to see me flail around. Um, some video games. I was thinking starting with Star Wars, um, the Knights of the Old Republic game. I know it's super old, but I love that game so much. And then, um, if like, just like comment down below, like I was, I was, my top options were, um, Knights of the Old Republic, Dragon Age, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Bioshock, or I'm trying to think of another game that I own already because I, I went on a spree and I bought so many games. But, um, and like, yeah, I'm just like hoarding them now. And I really would like to stream on Twitch because, like, I, I don't know, like, I feel like it's kind of lonely. Um, playing games by yourself. So like, I would, I would like to have people watching so that I could feel like I'm doing something with some friends or at least have some, something social like, you know? So I, I've just had enough of the pandemic and being at home alone, but, um, but yeah, so let me know what you would watch. And I do have other games. I can put a full list in the description because right now, or actually, you know what? Let me open up Steam. Oh, I also have um <sighs> Assassin's Creed. I think I can't remember if it's the first three games. And then I have well, hold on, let me open Steam because I have a few other Steam games too that um would be fun. Come on, Steam. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so I was gonna, I, I don't have the time right now to like figure out how to share my Steam screen and, um, but I have, I'm just gonna read a whole bunch of them. So like I have Among Us that I haven't played, Baba Yaga, Bioshock already mentioned, Bioshock Remastered, Bioshock 2, Bioshock Infinite, uh, Dragon Age Origins, Ultimate Edition, Fable Anniversary, Gone Home was really good, but I don't think that's really a streamable one because, I mean, I, I could do a speed run, but it's been so long since I actually played it, I don't think it'd go very quickly. Um, let's see, The Long Dark Lake, Gunpoint, that's not really a streamable game either. Psychonauts was cute, but I'm stuck at a certain point and I'm like, <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm stuck there. I, don't, I just feel like I'm not good enough with the with the keyboard, um, with the keys. But um, I'm thinking I might need to buy like a controller for my laptop because it's just not going fast enough on Psychonauts, and it's, it looks such like such a cute game, you know. Okay, and then I've got Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut, and then Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended, and then Shadowrun Returns. Um, I can't remember which one. I think it's Shadowrun Returns that I played. I haven't played the other two, the first two that I that I mentioned. 
And then I have a bunch of Star Wars games, but I feel like those ones need, um, like, a controller, like I mentioned. And then I have Stardew Valley, which I, I don't know, do people stream that? Because I feel like, I don't know enough about it. But, um, and then I have Surviving Mars, and then Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Anniversary, and then I think that's everything... I don't know what Slay the Spire is. Let me see what this is. I don't recognize it. Um, okay. Not really interested. Rise of the Tomb Raider. I have a PGA Tour. I don't feel like doing that. Um, yeah. Yeah, let me know if, like, if you watch this and you're interested in, in a Twitch stream, like, go ahead and vote by commenting here or on my... Tumblr via Anon or just an ask or whatever, but um, I don't know. Maybe I should set up a poll. Uh, I don't know, but I I just don't want to stream to nobody, you know, like just open it up and not have anybody watching. So like, I would like to set up a regular thing now that I have nothing to do this summer besides write and um, do household chores. I mean, I do have. <sighs> Like, I mean, I just got a non-call job where I'm basically subbing at a library, but, um, so that's nice, but it's not like a regular gig. So it's not like I can, I need to make up my own schedule for the summer because I haven't had a summer off in like five years. I really crave a schedule and like a routine, you know, I really need that. So like maybe I can make maybe Twitch streaming part of my routine. I've already got the Pathfinder and Werewolf the Apocalypse into my routine for the weekends. So maybe I could Twitch stream um, during the week. I don't know what times are good for you. Let me know. And let me know what games you want me to play. Um, I'm leaning towards, like I said, Knights of the Old Republic because I'm on this huge Star Wars um, phase right now because we're gearing up for May the 4th. So, yeah, just let me know, you know. Um, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.